Hello everybody and welcome back to Skip Allen Paints. This is the fourth video in a series of videos concerning uh, the Wacom tablet and how I set mine up. So let's get started with it. This is actually part two for touch. Um, now we talked about enable touch before and the fact that I don't ever do anything to these settings and actually I'm not going to do anything to any of the settings here. If we go into standard gestures, we see that we have a one finger tap to click, a one finger drag, um, we tap uh, to right click, this is two fingers, tap to right click, swipe left to navigate, and so forth. Um, and then you go into my gestures, and this is the one that has the three fingers for a radial menu, but we could, you know, set that up any kind of way we wanted, really. But I'm planning on using this as is, okay? Now, the trick or the thing that's very important about this is that I have to force myself to start using these um, keystrokes. And if I are using the touch, if in fact, as I start using the touch, it doesn't work for me, then I'll change it. Or if it works fine, but I would rather say, change this save to something totally different, then I can do that to something that's more useful. But first I really need to, and I did this uh, when I first got the into us five and then I kind of got, uh, lost and didn't keep practicing. But the first thing I have to do is really practice. There's no reason whatsoever to come in here and set up your Wacom tablet and then find that you never use it. You know, that's, that's silly. So I have to force myself to use it. Now, when you see me demonstrate, you don't see me use this so much because it hides a lot of what uh, somebody needs to see. In other words, if I were to tap with my three fingers and pop up this panel, uh, that would be a surprise because you wouldn't know how I did that. If I had the radio menu over here, then you would see me bring it up. Uh, but now that I'm going to use the touch, um, uh, as it's set up, I'm going to have to learn what each one of these does, and I'm going to have to practice with it to determine if that's what I want. Now, in the next videos, we're going to set up the uh, radial menu and the um, different functions like the touch ring, the radial menu, and our express keys. Those are going to be critical that we decide it's critical that we, we know what functions we use most frequently. And those are the things that we want to put uh, at our fingertips, so to speak. Okay, so that finishes up the touch and tells you that um, I'm going to stay with the uh, settings as they are. I'm going to enable touch. I'm going to not enable touch inside of Painter. Let's look at that again. So if I come up here to Edit, Preferences, General, I'm going to un take off Enable Multi-Touch. And what that's going to do is allow me to have all of the other touch functions still available and not just the ones that were enhanced by uh, Painter 12. Alrighty, talk to you later. Bye-bye.